yes i've been working as a support worker for the past five months and in this video i would like to share with you life of a support worker <laughs> drop mic and in this video i would like to share with you life as a support worker what i do every time i go to work and also the benefits of being a support worker the challenges i face and also talk with you generally about what a support worker is so if you find this video helpful i would like you to please stay tuned and watch you the very end because i'll be sharing useful tips that might be helpful for you if you're thinking of being a support worker or if you're thinking of trying this out or you might know someone that this might be helpful for thank you hello everyone and welcome again to my youtube channel my name is moyolua if you are new to this channel please don't forget to click on the subscribe button down below and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much please don't forget to click on the like button and what again don't forget to subscribe again <laughs> subscribe and subscribe and subscribe and subscribe click it down click it down anyways i'm going straight into the video to talk about a support worker so a support worker is someone that generally supports people that is just a simple definition of a support worker in the uk they sometimes refer to a support worker as a healthcare assistant or i think healthcare assistant they use that majorly in a hospital setting also they can refer to a support worker as a carer they majorly use this in a care home setting and also they can call them a healthcare support worker whatever way they call it they majorly do like the same thing depending on wherever they find themselves so i work in a care home and this video is going to be based on my support working role in a care home so the employer i'm presently working with they have different care homes across i think two counties and in the county where i presently live they have two care homes and the two care home one is majorly based on adult care and the other one is based on learning disability and i majorly work with the learning disability sometimes i go to assist them in the adult care but i think overall like the five months i've been working is like i'm working in learning disability 80 percent and the adult care like 20 percent what do i do as a support worker when i get there in the morning i help them get out of bed get them showered if they would like to shower or if they if they're having a wash or a bath help them with toileting help them with breakfast with lunch with dinner with snacks with drinks just think about anything that you do as a person on a daily basis i help them do this on a daily basis for example, if they want to go out to have their lunch or dinner, I help them go out to have to do this. If they want to go out to maybe cinema or something like an activity, I can help them do that. If they want to play games, if they want to paint, if they want to do, just think about anything. I help them to do that. Make it easier for them to do that, depending on their capacity. Some of them are kind of like independent to a very good extent. But some of them are quite like dependent that you they will need assistance to do basically everything maybe even assistance to eat their meals so depending on the level of assistance they require i support them with it if they are independent people i majorly give them like a lot of choices i also try to encourage choices for those that are quite dependent if they have capacity to do that but if they don't have capacity to do that i just help them to choose based on things that i know like will be like beneficial to them on their best interest that's the word we use for their best interest so that is basically what i do on a day-to-day -day basis when i go to work the other thing i also do is to give emotional support for the people i work with you know as a person normally sometimes you are happy sometimes you are down sometimes you are just okay so i'm there to help them in the moments when they are down sometimes they just start to cry they don't know why they're crying i'm just there with them just to give them support oh why are you crying sometimes you need to give them options maybe for them to be able to like widen their mind to know why they are 
feeling upset you can ask oh are you missing your mom are you missing your dad or do you want to watch tv or you just need to like encourage them to know why they are crying or anything or why they are feeling down the other part is that they might be agitated they might be screaming they might be shouting and you might not know why they are shouting something somehow must have upset them that you would never have thought of so you can also ask try to calm them down try to talk in a way that they feel relaxed around you so that the anxiety level can go down and also know why do you need my support for anything or, or how can i best support you and sometimes this agitator might be safer for you to maybe make sure that wherever they are is safe and they can't injure themselves in any way and you take a step outside sometimes they just want to be alone and you might be there asking a lot of questions and the question you're asking might even be triggering the behavior that they might be showing at that time what you can do in such situations is to make sure that wherever they are sitting or standing or wherever they are is safe for them that they can't harm themselves in any way and you need to work out and just allow them to be because even as a person we all like to be alone sometimes and because we found ourselves in some routines we just want to involve everybody at some point but some people might not want to be involved at that point you just need to know when best to step out and allow them to be so these are some of the roles that i do so i don't just support with physical things i support also with emotional like help them get through emotional things yeah, like I also said earlier, I, like medical support also. Like maybe they have appointments in their GP or they need to see the doctor. I'm also there to support them to the hospital and help them whatever thing that they need to do around in the hospital. I help to support that. So not to talk for too long. Support work role can have a job description, but sometimes you work out of your job description because just think about what you do as a person, your life as a person. You, you're just supporting them through life. That's just my conclusion about support working. Sometimes I even cook for them. I help them to cook. Sometimes I help with laundry. Sometimes I help with house cleaning. Like if you go to their room and you find something messy, just clean it up. You don't need to wait for the cleaner to come or anything. If you have the time, just quickly do that. So support work is just is just a whole lot of things. You can't say, oh, this is my job description. Oh, that's not my job description. I'm not going to do that. No. That's why most of the time, one of the things that employers look for is to know if you're a caring person. Because if you really care about people, you wouldn't care about maybe this is my job description or that's my job description. You just do it. It's like, let's say that you have someone that is in charge of maintenance and you go into somebody's room and you see a naked wire and you're like, that's not my job description. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm just going to walk over it and pass without informing the right person to come and handle that situation or maybe even trying to make sure that place is safe before the maintenance guy come or the maintenance woman comes to come and sort that out so it's not a kind of job description that is like in a box is out of the box you just make sure that these people are all right and they are okay that is my job description <laughs> so i'll go straight now into the challenges that i face as a support worker the number one and the first challenges i face i faced as a support worker is emotional support the, I think the first few times I went to work at the learning disability, I faced a challenge of one of the people I support screaming and shouting and agitated towards me. Like this particular person will be fine until I step in. When I step in, this particular person is agitated. It just seems to me that this person doesn't want to see me. I was very heartbroken because personally i'm a very soft person and when i love i love genuinely and these people i support i love each and every one of them as an individual i don't have like a special person or i prefer this person more than that person so i really love these people so me giving all of my best all of what i have towards someone and the person is seeing me and the only thing the person can do to me is to show that that he or she is angry towards me i was so upset i couldn't handle it i myself was 
angry i was upset i was like what am i doing here why did i choose this kind of role i'm not i don't think i'm going to do this for a long time because this is annoying how can i be helping you and what you can do to me is to be angry at me i was so 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 upset that's one of the challenges that I face as a support worker when you are trying to help people and the person you are trying to help doesn't really understand that you are helping them <laughs> and all they can do is maybe scream at you and shout at you. So because I was new to the role, I couldn't handle it well, even though I didn't do anything towards the person directly, but I was upset. I was upset because throughout the shift, I was just, <laughs> I was really, really upset. Like, what the heck is this what's going on so i spoke with one of the good things is that in this role you will majorly have you generally have a main mentor and this mentor is there to help you in moments like this when you find like things confusing and all of that i spoke with my mentor and she helped me and one of the things i got to learn when we were having this discussion with the other um manager was that he told me that you need to understand that these people sometimes when they are agitated towards a particular person that doesn't mean they are angry at that person that doesn't mean that person has done anything wrong you need to understand the kind of people you are working with and anything might have upset them and they might just find someone to maybe direct that anger at. that doesn't mean you are wrong that doesn't mean you are a bad person that doesn't mean there's something about you that irritates them it's just the kind of person that they are so don't take it personally that oh this person is shouting at me this person is shouting but not at you it might be anything something might have happened maybe before you arrived and they're just looking for someone to direct that all that emotion at and you happen to be that person so th this was really hard for me to deal with because even with that explanation i still feel like why must it be me why can't it be <laughs> why can't it be this why can't it be this? someone else or something why must you shout at me and personally i hate noise so this is another challenge that i face as a care support worker especially working with learning disability and people that have like mental issue i hate noise so when i hear noise it makes me very upset and it makes me like i i just want to walk away from that noise so working with having to face people that are screaming and shouting and help them and bring them down was a lot of challenges for me i have to like work on myself pray guys prayer has worked wonders as a support worker if you're watching this video if you don't believe in god please do believe in god there is a god and god answers prayer i started to pray every time i go to work like i have like uh, and this youtube video i watch of joshua selman every time i'm going to work and it's like tongues speaking in tongues and i walk from my home to where i work for like 20 minutes i just plug this into my hair and i speak in tongues i pray until i get to work not only because i'm going to work it's just like building my spiritual self and all of that but prayer has worked wonders for me i just pray because prayer helped me to be calm it's helped me to be at peace and if you are and one of the things i got to learn from my mentor is that these people they are also like they can sense like the kind of spirit you are coming in with if you've had a fight with your husband and you're coming to work they can pick on that because they know that you are not in a like stable state of mind so they can pick on that and even make your day even more frustrating for you so if you are coming to work and you are this peaceful person and you like you are in a good state of mind they can pick on that and they will also be at peace i was like wow and this person i was talking with me wasn't talking from a spiritual part I'm, I'm not even sure about how well she is with god or anything she was just talking about like professionally this is how these people behave i was like wow so if you are coming to work and you're angry that could make your day miserable if you're coming to work and you are happy that could make your day joyful i was like wow that's a good very good one so i started to pray every time i'm walking down to work and this has helped me to be calm even if i'm at peace and they are not at peace and they are maybe angry or something this will help me to be able to figure out why they are angry and help them to also be happy and if okay maybe is something that is upsetting them something that they don't want to see or something i can help but if i'm angry they're angry nothing is going to be 
nothing is going to be making sense you know it's just going to make the anger to go over the roof so this is the number one challenge that i have faced as a care support worker i think it's not only the number one i think that's the major challenge i have faced the other challenges is just for me getting up from bed in the morning i can be lazy <laughs> to wake up in the morning so my shift i have to work for 39 hours in a week because my work is a contract job and my work is supporting me with visa so i have to work for 39 hours in a week in a week and my shift could be like 7 to 2 or 2 to 9 or you can do 7 to 9 that is 14 hours so i was like if i'm doing 7 to 2 2 to 9 that's just like you i will have to work for six days in a row in a week but if i'm doing 14 hours i only have to work for three days in a week so i chose to work for three days in a week 14 hours each and this has really been helpful for me this has given me four free days to work and that is why i'm able to make youtube videos and do other things that i love to do like playing the guitar so it has really been helpful for me but the only thing is that when i have to wake up by before seven to get up and go to work i hate it <laughs> every single morning is either i'm snoozing my alarm i'm rolling on the bed i just don't want to go but once i get up and i'm at work i just like work and i enjoy my work but before like that morning wake up and everything that is the other challenge which is about me not about the work like i hope you get what i'm saying yeah so what other challenge do i face as a care support worker i think that's 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 everything okay so i'll move right into the benefits and the advantages of a support worker i think the number one advantage i i enjoy as a support worker is training like this work will always train like it's just continuous training and training and training and the good thing about this training is that even if you end up after some years you are no more a support worker these are useful training that is like a lifelong thing for you like all this the choking training all the cpr training all this like all this major training that could help you as a person like anyone could choke at any time you could be at a restaurant and someone chokes or something you could save a life you know so it's not just about like you using those training in your workplace is about this training could be something that could be in your arsenal and it to be helpful at any time that you might have emergencies and everything so you get free training every single time every single time there's always a training they're planning for to help and to equip each and everyone that is working with the company so that is the number one benefit the second benefit that i love and i enjoy as a support worker is that you know the fact that you are helping people is such a satisfying thing for me that i'm not just living for myself even though this work i used to tell people that even though this work is being paid for i don't i don't feel like the money i get from this work is is equal to the joy like i don't know how to put this like what i get paid for is not up to the kind of thing that i give <laughs> if that is making sense like i give my best to these people so the work i'm getting is just like a it's just like a bonus you get it's just like a thank you kind of it's not equal to how much i feel i'm working if that makes sense so this kind of work is work that you, you put smiles on people's face you have like laughter with these people you keep their company you enjoy their company they can smile because you're there they can see you in the morning and they are happy to see you and they are just joyful to have you around and this gives you so much joy like you are making a difference even though the, most of the time like people don't accept these people in the society well enough that sometimes people just want to walk about them they don't want to say hello to them they don't want to like associate they don't want to be seen with them but the fact that you can take them out proudly and they can feel comfortable around you they can feel like they have a friend in you this is much more satisfying than than anything for me so this is the other benefit i get to enjoy that okay i'm part of these people's life even though i'm getting salary for it but i don't see my salary as a compensation for what i am doing i just see my salary as like a gift to us like a thank you <laughs> 
like a thank you i feel like i'm working if if you want to convert what i do in terms of monetary value is way more than what i get so that's how i feel about this job yeah so that's the other benefit i enjoy as a support worker the other benefit that you could enjoy as a support worker depending on where you're working is like your company's like benefits some company help with dental care eye care like medical care it depends on where you're working at so i my company has some benefits but i haven't accessed any of those benefits because i think you have to work for some amount of years before you start enjoying those benefits so personally i'm not motivated by money to do this work i need to make that clear i'm not really motivated by money to work as a care support worker it's a work that could earn you a lot of money especially if you are doing overtime at some point i was doing four long days a week but i had to stop it because it wasn't working for me i needed to have a balance work and life and family i just wanted to balance everything so i don't want to put all my life working and then my family is suffering so i had to drop my hours to the basic minimum hours so if you are the kind of like person that can work for long and long and long hours just to make money there's always enough shit for you if you want extra hours but i don't do that anymore <laughs> i think also if you are living kera you get some benefits from the council for your for like i think you get some benefits with the council i'm not so sure about this but personally i don't enjoy any benefits from council or anything yeah so that is that about that and that is my life as a care support worker those are the challenges i face the benefits i enjoy and i hope this video has been helpful for you if you are thinking of venturing into this role or if you are coming from outside of the country to come and work as a support worker i would like to share more video about support working and what could be helpful for you so that you can settle in well when you arrive in the uk and everything so if you like this video please don't forget to click on the like button and hope to see you in my next video my name is moyoloa bye bye Thank you.